Okay. Shout out to Chris. Chris, won't say your last name. Keep your keep you anonymous there a bit unless you shout yourself out. Um, thanks for sending me that link earlier. And I hear I just did a quick search and find that the uh, Miami Herald did an article here with some photographs, which is nice that they have these. What's uh, interesting is this is the parking garage ramp. And they, they're they loading the ramp and all these point, point loading uh, in all this area. So this is point loading right here. So what they're and it is so they they they're creating a punching problem at the bottom of this. At the top here, it seems like they put timbers there, which is nice. But timbers down here would be nice also. But more so, you got to evaluate the, the the reinforcement in here because you're sitting on a slab. You're not sitting on a, a fat, you're you're trying to transfer the load. Let's see, of this concrete above. So it's just a concrete above. It's not and whatever the load is above there. Uh, is that the utility room? So th that's just that. That's not the whole tire uh, building. This is slab, and this would give this column more area, and this is what the area would look like. Um, that's what the area would look like uh, transferring down to, again, a slab. And that slab's got rebar in it, and so it's got spacing of about 12 inches, I'm guessing, and you're, you, you're, if you're between it, you, you can create a punching problem. But we have a nice distributed load here with the timber up top coming down here and here. And then it took it from distributed to point loading here and here. It just simply, you just need a timber down there to, to distribute it greatly, more greatly across that pad. Um, they didn't wrap it. They went, they did three sides. It doesn't look like it's all the way around. Maybe it is, but... It looks like a hell of a lot of money um, to do this, and they only made it out so far. So they're trying to indicate that that uh, that it's punching through um, by just staying around there, that one column. Remember, Kilsheimer gave this building a OK, and now this sort of discredits them, doesn't it? So what do you guys think of that? Because he didn't say it requires supports there. And obviously they hired somebody that thought differently, unless you're going to claim it happened just in the past few minutes um, since he's, since he left it, which means it's progressively it's a lot worse. So now, and I don't believe that. So here's the timbers up top. No timbers here. Um, it's underneath the, what appears to be that drop slab beam detail. So it's pretty compressive there. And... You're, inter like you're doing what I call intercepting the load at this point. Very very dangerous to intercept the load. You create a seesaw effect um, intercepting the load. So let's say that the uh, load does want to come there. You're creating a, a, a new moment with all, these, with all these point loads. You think they would have uh, been a little... This one, this one is very, just very iffy to me with that one. And then it's out here. And the pad. The good news is apparently if you intercept a load there, the point loading will identify itself for the viewers that live at the tower. Look at the base of each one of these columns periodically and see if you see fractures like this. So here's the column round. And you start seeing fractures migrate from it. Or if you literally, I want you to put your hands on the column and feel it. You're, you're feeling it, wringing it with your hands to see if how you're, you're tapping. And it should feel tight. If, if they all feel tight, you're, you're, you're snug. That's nice. And if you check it a few days later and one is loose, oh, you got a problem. Or if you check it later and you start seeing the, the column feels like it's really tense. It'll feel really tight, more tight. And you can use a, a coin and tap in the same place on each one of the columns. Um, the same place, the hollow part of the column. So it would be more like right here where you're going to get a nice ringing sound. So, zooming in here, they use these steel beams up top, H-beams, looks like a, maybe aluminum works for me, but again, they, 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 uh, they transfer the load evenly down these columns here, but here they created punching, 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 and this is why here, this fracture here is what they're doing. But the fracture speaks to two sides. So over here 
and this side. This is exactly where the fracture is identifying it has stress, and they're over here. So it's, it's here is where the, the stress is identifying itself. Cracks speak volumes. You've got to learn how to read cracks. And this is exactly where it's speaking to, that the stress is here. And it matters what the other column is. you got to look at my video where I talk about triangle, uh, rectangle array. Um, rectangle array. Let's see if, yeah, it allows me to pull it over. So I have these images, not this one. This is by the tank going the other way. When, uh, when uh, Kilsheimer was here, it was in a video that I did. Kilsheimer's here approximately. They turn, the cameraman turns and looks down here at these tanks. Over here is somebody in a mask. I remember that. And this is the parking garage ramp here. This is a deck that goes over and ties into this wall here. When I say deck, it's uh, the, the, the driveway entrance. And then you come down the ramp this way. Okay. So they have, and this, I'm sorry, let's do this. So this is the drop slab detail again as identified here. And that's that elevation change that you're looking for. Remember that it looks like um, this on a side profile with, with reinforcement and then concrete decking here. And I do not know how they put the two together, the meaning this, this here and that, how they, is it a joint there or not? Um, won't matter too much if the rebar's uh, dowel and, and, and connect it, um, doweled, connect it. Hey, George. So here's one of my bumpers. Interesting because I'm wondering, do I extrapolate these bumpers to go a lot of places? Oh, wait a minute. It's not a bumper. It is, oh, shuck, sorry, guys. It is what? It's the same thing you saw in the previous image uh, right here. But now it's paid for and on the ground, apparently, because they bought it to the, maybe it's not paid for, maybe they charge per piece, but... Um, so this again is you're creating a point load, but they're taking the the deck. They're intercepting instead of supporting the beam action. They went for the. Uh, wait a minute. Let me clear. Let me zoom that in. No, they are in the beam. So it appears they're right underneath the beam here. This is not underneath the beam because the, this is underneath the deck. So this would be under the parking garage, parking garage, outside, a parking entrance rather, the driveway. And that's in plane with this right here, this line here. And these are outside that line. These are outside the line. And so that's the uh, deck where, to the right, where there's grass probably. Com comparing against the other one, I have to look at the top view again. The So, so there are the supported... Single column, I don't know, 80,000 pounds, these th columns, I don't know what they're rated at. Um, this column here is the one that's supporting, the, is intercepting, as I call it, your, your column. But what's the intent? To intercept what? It's only a single one there. What do they do? Put it right underneath the, a fracture they see, and they say, well, that covers both sides? Really? Uh, both sides of the fracture because the you know fractures like that. I'm exaggerating and here's a pole here You got one side a and side B if you will that are that are reacting and You're just you just don't want to go down anymore. Well, that's great, but you got it on just you know this system worked carrying the load this way down into a you know 75,000 pound capable system 75 I don't know, a quarter million pounds capable system, whatever it is. But this is a joke. This is putting it on a slab. So this is for comfort reasons that they're putting out this stuff. This is comfort support. Um, I smoke and mirrors, um, as far as I'm concerned, this is just a punch in the deck. That would just punch through the deck. I don't know what its intent is. It's only a single by itself. There's no, you know, no... Beam, beam holding and transferring the load down there or down here, just point loading through the deck. Well, I, I should be fair. Let's be fair about this. These things do have a plate at the bottom, so it's whatever that plate is. Divide that by the load they plant. They, they, they're, uh, they're intercepting. I, I call it because you're moving it over. 
you're supporting, you're moving it over. And here is the, I guess the beam going up, no, that's wrapped, that's in a square if we look at the, the base. Oops. If we look at the base of this, they're wrapping um, this, but on this side, this is just the parking garage, and of course, this uh, wall system. Is it knee wall? Yeah, that's knee wall. That's the, uh, I think the shear wall is on the other side. Um, so again, no, be no beam underneath there to transfer to the floor. They don't have it on any, any of them. Up here, point load, point load, point load, point load, point, point. Really? So, you know, what's, what's the intent of this? What, what's the intent? What is the intent? Well, my guess is they probably saw, if we look at the, this column here, we're looking at it from, if we can lose uh, from the top bird's eye view down, coughing, <coughs> excuse me. So we look at the bird side, bird's eye view down, this is, let's call this 99. They might have seen some cracks like this as they look up to the ceiling. So as they look here and over here and over there also, they might see this fracture is coming out. And they're just saying, you know what, let's, let's, uh, let's, um, let's go ahead and, uh, and, uh, put a little support here, one here, one here. Well, let's put three there. Let's see another side. Let's do two here. Let's do two here. Let's do one back here. And that's the way the supports look like from the top around it. In theory, you just made this. But they're just point loads. I mean, but this one probably will hold up. This is that there would be a lot of compression before they would want to do something. It would fail down here first. That's theoretically, of course, because it's only a, what, a six inch pad down there below us on the ground there. I don't care if it's 12. It's still not designed to take a point load and transfer down to the, the resistant soil or I like to say you guys like to say gravity pushing back up if there's not enough gravity pushing back up you guys anybody know me I'm, I'm trolling now there's not enough gravity pushing back up right here all right so thought I'd share that with you and I still have that video coming out tomorrow but I think I'm gonna publish this now to discuss this because the video tomorrow it's pretty intense it's going to be talking about the um uh, rectangle array and how critical that is. Oh, that's a heck of a use of the word. Um, critical. Okay. So again, I see no uh, trying to tap it. I, we see, not just, we see none of this down here. But they're smart enough to put it up here. But this is just weird. They're not honoring the, the crack. All right, got to go. As you can see, um, how do I end this? Decline and then this one. Let me, let me get that phone call.